everyone, welcome to my channel. And in this video, I'd like to talk about how you can get an internship. So let's get started. Okay, so there have been questions and people wondering like, oh, how did you get this internship? How were you able to do this or do that? So I'd suggest researching what company or what area you would like to work in and work for in the like long term, probably 10 plus years or about 10 years. Um, and then find all internships that they're posting and anything that has to do with like engineering or anything like that, just apply to them. Even if they're like mechanical engineering or electrical engineering and you're a computer engineering student, just, just do it because honestly, if this is an internship, so you're there to learn and to um, basically navigate yourself around the workplace. They're not expecting you to know this material or to have like this exponential amount of knowledge that you can provide to the company. No, that's not it. The goal is for you to learn the material and to learn how everything operates in the corporation or the company that you would be working for. And that is a huge, huge benefit. Having that hands-on experience and that, you know, having to be surrounded in that kind of environment is very, very beneficial and it's vital that you have that because once you graduate and you do go for like a full-time position, a lot of the times the employers are looking for um, candidates and employees who have had that kind of experience at least, so, you know, so it's either you have the experience in the workplace and you know how to navigate yourself around it and you know how to work with others and you know the company and everything like that or you are really, really good at engineering. You're just one of those really bright, bright individuals <laughs> who just like, it just comes to them and they're just able to, you know, write up programs, um, solve problems in like a short amount of time. Um, so I'd suggest that, just slingshot, just put your resume out there for all internships in the company that you would want to work for. So another thing I suggest is of course, keep your grades up, make sure you have a high GPA or a higher GPA than average. Um, generally, as engineers, I mean, they don't really expect you to have a super high GPA because it is engineering and they do understand that you're going through some rigorous courses. Um, so they don't expect you to have like a 4.0 plus GPA or, you know, a 3.9. Um, but they are looking for at least a 3.0. Um, they want to see that you've gotten, you know, A's and B's in most of your classes, uh, if not all of them, hopefully. And just making sure that you understand the material kind of like you know what you have learned and you showed that you're disciplined another thing is i like to talk about the resume make sure your resume is like clean and short and sweet since you are still a college undergraduate student um obviously the companies aren't expecting you to have a lot of work experience but if you do have any work experience i suggest putting the ones that relate to that internship posting so if you have anything, um, any sort of experience in IT or you've done and taken any um, jobs in some technical field, then I would list that as a work experience. But if you had only, I guess for me, for example, I had only worked at one other place and I had put that as my work experience. So that's the other thing. Your resume needs to not only have like things that relate to the internship, but also you want to really emphasize how well you've done in high school, you know, or how well you're doing now in college. Like if you're on the Dean's list or if you have it, like I said, a high GPA. Um, and also I guess the other tools and skills that you've learned in those courses, like you know how to operate Microsoft Excel, Microsoft Word. Um, you also know a little bit of Python. You've done some programs in there. You've done like a project in C++ or you've worked with some uh, microprocessors and you've done some low level programming such as assembly language with those microprocessors. Um, so things like that, I suggest like really emphasizing that in your resume and um, not so much the work experience that you've had if it has nothing to do with uh, the internship itself. Like for example, say you were, I don't know, a waitress for only like six months or something. I don't know if I would put that in there or if I would put that in there if that was like one of the only things you had done. But if you had done other things, such as like also working as a TA, you know, or also working in a work study group or in other groups in like the engineering field in college or anything like that, then I would put that there first. And then towards the bottom, probably put like, you know, waitress for six months. Another thing I'd put in the resume is um, basically the contacts 
who are probably going to be your professors. So put like three professor names or professors and know someone who works in another tech company, then I'd suggest putting them in there. And in terms of like the formatting of the resume, this is kind of like an example of a format that I'd suggest and use, um, mainly because it's very professional and clean and organized. And that's what you want in a resume because that's what the that's what the employer is going to be looking at when they review all of the applications. They're not going to be looking at you. They're not going to be talking to you. They're going to be looking at those, you know, those resumes. So I'd suggest if you do happen to become a candidate and you go in for an interview for an internship, then I'd suggest being very, um, not overly enthusiastic, but I would suggest being, you know, obviously you want to sound like you're interested. Listen to the interviewee. Listen to what they're saying. Listen to what they ask. Listen to what they talk about. Just give your full undivided attention to them and then answer it as best as you can if they ask you a question and be honest. Um, do not get caught up in thinking about other things or how you look or how you feel or how you're dressed. Like that, I know that can get very consuming and it can consume you, but do not let that um, distract you because basically they're going to be the ones that are going to decide whether or not you're going to be getting this internship. Unfortunately, you know, it's, it, it all depends on the first impression. So of course you want to make a good first impression and also just be yourself as well. I don't know how you can do that, but um, for me, I just, myself was just being honest. Um, I was just being as honest as I possibly could. And yeah, so if they ask you something about some sort of material or some sort of information, or how to solve something and you don't know, just say you don't know, you know? And I, I think they would value that a lot more than you trying to pull off some sort of answer or some sort of solution, even though you clearly don't know and they know it, you know it, but you won't say that you don't know it. So um, that just kind of tells them that you're willing to lie. I think that some employers really, really focus on that. And if you're not able to work with others, well then you can't work there basically. And I guess that's it. Another thing I'd suggest is just don't give up. Just keep trying. Um, don't lose faith. Just keep you know applying and you'll probably get a bunch of no's. I know I did, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it, it just all depends. If you guys found this useful, please let me know in the comment section below. And if you want me to go more into detail about how to get an interview or how to do well in an interview, then um, please let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Bye.